A few decades ago, most Swiss farmers looked down on organic food production. But times are changing. Today, conventional farming in Switzerland is on the decline, and organic is steadily growing. 12% of all Swiss farms are now organic. Organic farming requires a lot of know-how. One important international source is located right in Switzerland, though. The Feeble Research Institute for Organic Agriculture has been looking at new technologies and passing its findings on to farmers for 40 years. One project is Feed No Food, which looks at dairy cows. Cows naturally graze on grass, but conventional farming gives them concentrated feed made of cereal and soy. As a general rule, one kilogram of concentrated feed makes two litres of milk. A lot, but then milk mainly consists of water. Only a fraction is made of milk sugar, proteins and fat. Switzerland imports 65% of its cereal and soy cow feed. That may seem high when people in poorer countries can't afford food because of high commodity prices. So should cereal and soy be avoided for cows? We found that it's possible to reduce concentrated feed by a quarter without consequences on the animal's health. Fertility even increased. And we were surprised to see that milk production didn't reduce as much as we thought it would. Feeble is one of the leading research institutes for organic farming in the world. It gets a lot of visitors, and there's growing interest from India, Japan and China in its work. Swiss farmers have the support of the government and this institution, which looks after soil and plant quality, as well as animal health. This results in safe products, which benefit the health of the Swiss public. I'm impressed by this place. One European partnership is looking at alternative plant nutrition to replace mineral fertilizers, which are mainly produced by exploiting non renewable natural resources. Corn is usually grown using mineral fertilizers. But there are organic alternatives such as compost, digestates or manure. But often the nutrients are harder for plants to absorb. With the aid of natural compounds like bacteria, fungi or algae, we want to make nutrients inside organic fertilizers easier to absorb. The aim is to find the right bacteria for the right plant and the right region. Developing countries could also benefit from this project. For many consumers, organic products are still a luxury. But for farmers in poor countries, organic farming could provide new hope. People are divided over whether the world could be fed with organic produce alone. We believe it's possible. The big problem with today's agriculture isn't that it doesn't produce enough food, but that food distribution isn't functioning properly. Between 30 and 50 percent is lost on the way from the farm to the consumer. More than half of the poor people in the world are farmers struggling to produce enough food to feed themselves. They don't have the money to maintain their farms and infrastructure. They lack technology and know-how. We really believe that we can help these farmers with organic methods. Simple means such as using compost and attracting beneficial insects can make a big difference. Compostierung, Nützlinge anziehen mit einfachen Mitteln können sie ihre Verhältnisse enorm verbessern.